Hello and welcome to another episode of the SourceFed Podcast. I am Matt Lieberman. Before we get started, just a reminder, go check out our friends at ForHumanPeoples.com. They have recently revamped the entire website and all of our catalogs, and we're going to have so much great new stuff on there. Great t-shirts, hoodies, phone cases, leggings, whatever you could possibly imagine. Plus, the drawing board has returned on a monthly basis, so check out the latest designs that are available. You won't regret it. You could also get a William Haynes poster. Yeah. I don't think it's on sale right now. Is it not on it's no. it's just gone. It's got uh, there They in, sold out? I don't I don't know. It's like a 6 month thing and then it'll be back. When it's back, I I don't even want that to be sold anymore. You I don't, don't look like that anymore. You do that look me. like I that. I was like 18. I'm uh, sorry. I mean, I feel like I was. I was probably like 20. The only but... difference is that you now have like a line like oh, yeah, Darren on the side the of your head. I look look, that <laughs> line was my stuff first. I want that Oh god, but whatever. I don't it doesn't matter. No, no, no. Let's let's air this grievance right now, Will. Do you feel personally that Darren He jacked my line. He no. jacked your line. No, technically Darren did it first. Darren did it first. I brought it up to him first though. I was like I showed him a photo. I was like I want to do this and he was like I want to do that too. But since we're he just beat me to it. I wasn't confident back then. I couldn't ask the Barber. Bree uh, Esrig, let me wood. ask you a question. Sure. Um, can people call dibs on a hairstyle? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Why why do you think that is? They can, but I don't I don't blame Will for doing it as well. It's a hot style. It's a hot, it's style. A hot style. It's a hot style. I didn't do it for it to be a hot style. Yes, you did. I don't even don't even hot play. Style? It's yeah. a hot ass style. I don't think anything about me is stylish or hot. <laughs> Speaking of, I am totally gonna copycat Sam one of these days and dye my hair gray, mm-hmm. which is something hey. Sam did. I'm like dying for this gray style, honey. The granny. Real cool. I, I love it. I'm jealous of Sam and also to to an extent uh Matthew Bowman, our, our friend Bowman, who both can wear ridiculous clothes and just rock it and especially like like top and bottom same print whatever like a map of the world shirt map of the world little shorts that shit's hot it's cool can we throw that out there just people that just don't give a shit don't give a fuck who are willing to wear something crazy yeah and especially like chick clothes yeah and girls wearing dude clothes what my my friend bill rocks his girlfriend's clothes he he legitimately he just tears that shit up. Mm-hmm. He can tear the shit out of a camisole. My friend Rawl wears women's printed leggings and he also gets gel mani pedis. What? And he looks fierce. I wear my own clothes usually. <laughs> Literally 100% <laughs> of the time I only wear my own clothes. Only your own. I haven't been so, cleaning my room. You, you shop in the women's section. Though. I, I, mm, not usually. There's nothing. I don't I don't, there's nothing I want there. All women's clothing to me looks so like frail. It looks like it just could rip. You're right about that. Yeah. Question though. Okay, this is a good question for both of you. Okay. If you any women's clothing like that's trending right now, mm-hmm. what are you kind of jealous of that you wish you could? I like be those wearing? hats, which I might just buy one. Which those those hat? the 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 one that Lieberman bought and then you took to your house. Uh, oh, you stole the, the you room. stole the Hamburglar hat. <laughs> I stole the Hamburglar hat. That is I so brought it back. Talk, pretty, okay. I brought it back. Okay. If you had waited. 12 more hours, I would have already taken it. I yeah. was planning on taking it. And he it. would not have brought it, it back. It was I, real no. cute. Yeah. It was a real cute hat. It was. It's uh, also, I want to do a character with that hat, but that'll come on a uh, deep dive in a couple of months eventually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's trendy right now, but there's a part of me that would love to wear yoga pants. Because they look <laughs> fucking comfy that. as hell. They, oh, they, they are. look really comfy. And also... That would just be not good for me. Not in good any for you? Way, just, yeah. Uh, See, you but, could really pull them off. Though. Are you worried about package stuff, or package because stuff your butt is sides. like it's just yeah b- on both sides of my body? Mm-hmm. It's just it. Not, this is not yeah. Those There's don't too work much for me. stuff on both it's sides. It's too revealing. How do you not see like? I guess they're not that thin. The underwear. Yeah. It's the oh, underwear that does. You do see underwear it. in those. Like, you, you, well, you do. You can you also s- see lips. Right. Yeah. On some. On some. Yeah. That was my favorite part of the Two Truths and a Lie that you did with Maud Bree uh, was when she said that your shorts were literally, your vagina was eating your shorts. She called my, my pussy hungry. That's hysterical. It, it was really, I it. couldn't even be, I had to feed it with yeah. some pants. Have people ever, like, given you comments about your genitalia when they see it for the first time when they see it yes first, uh, uh not what did she say not that not that bad she was like uh n- not bad not yeah. uh as because all my friends were like oh you you messing around will you he's you got a big dick and then uh and she was like uh she was like it's not not even that big and i was like okay cool and that was it i don't know because all my friends have a joke uh 
Sorry, okay, forget yeah, I yeah. spoke. Forget I spoke. You'd have to know <laughs> that. Uh, Is what? it totally inappropriate? I, okay. No, it's to not. To bring up the fact that, okay, I accidentally saw your pee pee, Will. That it was, was not a big an accident. <laughs> it was not an accident. It was not. That was, I was, I, I was, what, what, what crime can I say that happened to me? You got pantsed. Okay, I guess, yeah, I just got pants. I talked about that already. Bowman, I was at, we were at my house, was all Bowman. having a good time. We're all having fun. I think and he we just did talk my, about this on yeah, the podcast. Yeah, I think I did. He just pulled my pants down. Like, uh, but I didn't care. I didn't care. My he, dad did that to me when I was eight. Yeah, that's real and bad. And it still sticks with me. I, would totally I remember like the blue, blue and green striped uh, pajamas. I yeah. can't wait to have kids so I can just torture them. That's the worst reason to have kids. I mean, it's the best reason. That's the funniest comedian stuff. Oh, my God. You ever seen Kevin Hart get up there and talk about his dumb kids? It's hilarious. It, that stuff is so funny Louis C.K.? Oh, man. That's the only reason I have kids, to see what kind of humor I could just... Like, you know when you get a wash towel and you're like, I need a little bit of water left. You just left. need a little juice. I'm trying to do that to my kids. Mm-hmm. I don't you could do that anyway. Sure. Yeah. It's like an ex, ex-wife ex Maybe jokes. I should get some. That's a thing. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, what if I get some friends that have kids and I watch them and I pretend like that's my totally. life? Totally. My girlfriend and I, we watched uh, two different couples' dogs over two weekends. Oh, I didn't mean watch their kids. Hell yeah. no, I'm not putting their kid in my house or going over to their house. I mean, I'm watching them oh, do stuff Observing. to their kids. Right. Yeah. I'm not watching somebody's kids. Yeah. See, that's the thing. I don't know that I want to be a father. I do want to be an uncle, like an uncle or a godparent, and just be like around kids and like tell them the truth about stuff and then send them home to their parents and just watch it all unravel. But I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd want to be responsible for kids of my own. I, I don't like, you know, I live with a dog uh, and I'm always worried about the dog being dead. Anytime I'm not looking at the dog, oh, wow. I'm like, oh, the dog is dead. I'm like, Catacomb is dead. Like, mm-hmm. uh, if just, Catacomb just walked around. So if I had kids and like their life, um, I don't know, I'd say a dog is worth one tenth of a human. Don't Half, say that. Fifty percent. People that. like dogs fifty percent as much as they like. Mm. No, there are plenty of people who prefer dogs, dogs to humans. human beings. That is because very true. me. You yeah. know, I've never had a dog bite me. I had one dog try, but I've had plenty of people do worse shit. Than oh bite. yeah, people will emotionally manipulate you. Yeah. Dog, well, dogs do try, but they're no. not smart enough. See, animals <laughs> do emotionally manipulate you, but they get away with it because we like it, and yeah. it's not like you know they emotionally manipulate you into like dating them. Giving them, them food. Yeah, it's just giving them food yeah. that you were gonna give them anyway, or attention. That's right. It. That you were gonna give them anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I-, I had the same thought. Well, literally for the first time. Uh, we we have a guinea pig, and I thought about that what if I not, go home and the guinea pig's That will never not be dead? funny to me. I know you're a grown ass man with a guinea pig, whatever. What's it's wrong th- with the there's guinea pig? There's nothing wrong with it. I actually think it's super cute. I also think it's hilarious. I also don't know why people have guinea pigs. Like, what do they do? They're they just they're very emotionally intelligent animals. Do they do tricks? No, they they mostly just eat. They mostly just eat and look cute. But sometimes she gives me kisses. How they, how do they smell? <laughs> uh, they don't smell bad. They just smell like an animal. Reminds you can me give them a bath. Dr. Doolittle, the little guinea pig. Yeah. Can you make money on an Instagram account from them? I think that you could. I think it's a much smaller market than a cat or a dog, but there's a part of me that wants to line her cage with green screen Mm -hmm. uh, on the floor and then on on the wall and then just set a stationary camera and then just green screen her into various situations. Like another cage. Yeah, like another cage, but a cage in outer space. (laughs) Or a cage cage underwater. Uh, yeah. That'd be funny. That, to me, would be really fun. I don't ever want a guinea pig. Or, I really don't, I want another dog, but I want a dog that only exists when I want it to. Where I'm like, all right, it's nighttime, bye-bye dog, and I just turn them off. So that'll be in the future, I'm sure. Yeah, robo-dogs, that's how it'll work. Like, I'm not trying to walk you. I'm not even trying to open up the door so you can run in the backyard and do that. I just want you to look cute when I want you to, and then... Stop touching me when I don't want you to anymore. Yeah, don't ever get a dog. Don't ever get yeah. a dog, Will. Mm-hmm. Dogs mm-hmm. don't do that. <laughs> is there any kind of weird pet that you've always wanted? Oh, my God, a sugar glider. What is what a is sugar glider? Mm. They're mini squirrels that fly. Fuck That's yeah. what I thought, actually. Right? Yeah. They fly from tree to tree, and they're so cute. Oh, I like that. They're like flying chipmunks. Yeah. I've always wanted a Komodo dragon. Mostly because of the word those, dragon. Those are dangerous. Yeah. Are they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're, They're not more so dangerous chill. than hippos, though. Uh, hippos oh, yeah. will snap you in half. Weren't we just talking about like the amount of deaths? Yeah. And is I, hi- from hippos is greater than sharks yeah, and yeah, yeah. deer yeah. and I, everything else. I think I was joking around and saying that I wanted a pet hippo, but like again, like I said, I only want to take care of it sometimes. Mm-hmm. And then somebody was like, <clears throat> someone was like, yeah, they kill people all the time. And I was like. 
Whoever the who, people who don't realize that hippos are dangerous are real dumb. Mm-hmm. Do you see this massive animal? And that's it's all muscle. They're it's, not eating yeah. anything with fat on it. You're like, oh, maybe it's like a big dog. No, it's Mm-mm. like a big hippo. And it just <laughs> snaps, snaps your neck off. And the worst, and the crazy thing is, it's like with blackfish, they will grab you and they will drag, drag you, you under down. the water and drown you. Oh my mm-hmm. god! Yeah, they are vicious. They are violent. Every hippo is like Tillicum from Blackfish. We <laughs> should we should remake Jaws or just at least put a hippo in place of Jaws and call it Hungry Hungry call Hippos. Call <laughs> hungry Hungry Hippo. Yeah, Hungry the Hungry Hippos film? as a as a horror trailer is a great idea. That's a really we good should idea. we should do that. Let's do it. Yeah, let's make that. Cut happen. it out of the podcast so nobody knows. Yeah, uh, 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 I'm a gonna note make to it. the to the editors. Don't I'm gonna make dare. it first. I'm gonna go over to a different you, corporation. No, we call dibs. Will I'm gonna go over to College Humor or BuzzFeed or are we like them at all? Are we like them? Yeah, are we like kind of like them, or are they just something completely different? I, you know, it's a question that I ask myself all the all the time. We're all conglomerates. Like College Humor, I love them. Mm-hmm. I don't know. No, we're not like them. They do something different. Well, I think that we all do different flavors of ultimately the same thing. We're part of a corporation. We're making content. We're trying to make it as funny and informative and interesting. And their as bosses possible. are like, do this, do this, do this, do this, and they're like, all right, got to do it. And yeah. You know, Jake and Amir only happened because they were fucking around with a camera after hours. Yeah, I think Jake was an intern at the time. They they were both yeah. interns. No, I no, Amir wasn't. He wasn't. He was, a, he was already a writer. He was already a writer. And then Jake was an intern and fucked around, and then he got hired, and now here they are. Yeah. And I think they just finished doing the show. I used to watch that. That was one of the first things I watched, and then fell, and then. Uh, well, the that was one of the shows. first, I think, like very Internet popular things. live action web series. Yeah. Do you remember the first? What was the first like web series that you watched? It was Jake and Amir. It was Jake and Amir? Mm-hmm. Very Mary Kate. Very Mary Kate. Oh, mm-hmm. man, that's also a really good one. Mm-hmm. I used to watch this cartoon, this Flash cartoon called Waterman, which no one's ever heard of, and it wasn't even that funny, but I just really, really, really liked it. It's weird to think that in, like, 10 years, somebody will look back and be like, oh, yeah, I used to watch SourceFed, mm-hmm. but now they're all dead. Which one of us is going to die first? Steve. I always said, I remember I was like, Why? because someone will dare him into something that seems harmless and and he'll just get killed. It'll be Steve. It'll, It'll be, be Steve. Steve. I'm going to be real sad. I'm going to be crying in this funeral. It's, oh, no. that Steve dying, I think, would be the most tragic thing. It would be the most tragic thing. I mean, Steve's still an asshole, but, you know, it would be tragic. It would be tragic. Yeah. Oh, you guys at home didn't know that. <laughs> no. I don't think Steve... Everybody here is kind of yeah. an asshole. Everybody, Everybody is, is an asshole. asshole. Everybody, Everybody in the think... world is an asshole. Everybody. I, that's what's amazing to me. Like, people see celebrities and, you, and they're like, oh, he's perfect. I want to date him. I love the guy from Fault in the Stars or whatever the fuck. You know he's an asshole. Right. Everybody is an asshole at some point. Mm-hmm. Like, I know I go home and I'm like, oh, I can't wait to go home and be an asshole off a of camera. Like, everybody's an asshole. I think, like, the, the person that people were maybe least surprised is an asshole is, like, Michael C. Hall from Dexter. I like, know he, him. So, the, the main guy? The main guy on Dexter, right? Mm-hmm. He's so, an asshole? He's an asshole. So no. let me let me tell you Everybody's this. Everybody's an asshole. So uh, no. my my ex girlfriend was is was friends friends of friends with Jennifer Carpenter who played his sister on the love show. Her. They fell this in love, the... <laughs> got married. Then season five, apparently he was having sex with um what's her name Julia Stiles who was the guest star all season, having sex with her all season. And then when she confronts him about it, he's just he just kind of was like uh huh uh huh, we should get divorced uh huh. Just like very, very cold about I mean, what's it. And wrong she was with there that? for she was there for him through cancer, uh, like all this shit. Like if you're not happy in a relationship, you don't cheat. You you yeah. you tell them I'm not happy. But yeah, okay. Let's say he didn't do all that. Like it wasn't all that. Like just a, a different person. And, and two yeah, people. let me say this is all stuff that I've heard. Yeah, I don't know this for a fact. You didn't have to know. tell people on the internet. But uh, like, can you do that? Can you be like, oh, let's get a divorce? Can it ever be that chill? It, it should be. If it you should were, be. If you're two smart people, it should be like, oh, let's get divorced. It's the Louis C.K. joke. I talk about it all the time. Huh. No marriage ended because things were going well. Yeah, he's like, if someone gets a divorce, you congratulate them. That's why I, I hate hearing people complain like, oh, it's so fucking hard. You wanted this shit. <laughs> like, you can't be upset about it. Yeah. Mm. Like, yeah. you are better off, you know. I don't know. That's why I don't think I'll ever get married. I don't want to have the hassle of being like, oh, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, with, I'm with you, Will. I'm You're not. never gonna get married. I don't think so. I'm yeah. not about that. I feel like the truest testament to love is not getting married. It's making that commitment without being forced, but with like bound by a piece of paper. And also, when it ends, you just move out. That's Hello. It. That's it. Yes, Queen. I res- I respect <laughs> that. I th- I don't know. I waffle. I waffle back and forth, especially because I've never 
been involved with someone who didn't want to get married or didn't want a wedding at some point. Even I want a there wedding. Was no, even if there was no piece of paper, they want a wedding. I've always said I want to have a wedding, just not uh, uh, to get married. You like, should have a wedding to your art, Will. Oh, that'd be real cool, actually. You should get, yeah. <laughs> you should get yeah, married, married to, to your jokes. jokes. I'm getting married to jokes. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, just... <laughs> let's put a stack of hard drives in in a in a beautiful dress. And I got a bunch of them. <laughs> yeah, I got a bunch of and them. invite yeah. all of your friends and people that you work with. And then we'll at the wedding reception, we'll play a video of me, which is just my videos of me. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> what it, What are your guys' just... song? Our song, uh, "Black Skin Head" by Kanye West. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Wait, but can we also do like you know like how they'll have like those videos of like the couple's relationship mm -hmm. can it just be an episode of people be like but with the song like as we go <laughs> on underneath it mm -hmm. it should be me looking at the screen watching myself <laughs> as we go on is yeah. a graduation song yeah, I mean, graduation no, that is song. not a wedding but song. he's graduating from wedding a singlesman is like to, uh, to married, to married men. Men. okay no wedding song is like what's a typical wedding oh, song? oh the stevie wonder song uh you are the sunshine mm -hmm. of my... Oh, that's, is, was that to his daughter? Uh, the, the About a Rainbow, how's it go? Uh, oh, man, don't ask how's me. How's Stevie Wonder song about a I rainbow? Don't know. I know what uh, you're talking about, too. It's like... <laughs> If you could do anything more for than those an of you insensitive that are, wait, impersonation. Yeah, you know, see for it. those of you that are listening, you can't see Will is doing an impression of Stevie Wonder, <laughs> and it's so offensive. He didn't see me do that shit. You didn't have to tell him. Now he knows. Great. Oh, now Stevie Wonder's are just a ass. bunch are of like, snitches. <laughs> wedding songs are like, oh, my love. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's like that. My it's not as we go. Oh, ribbon in the sky for a whole. That's the song. The, the Stevie Wonder is ribbon Look in the sky. You okay. hit that high note. Okay, it's my parents' wedding song. I my my brother and his wife, their wedding song was um, what's that John Legend song everybody loves? Uh, this is all of me love. I was gonna say it better not be ordinary people because that's not a happy song. No, 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 no. You seen it's... the music video? A girl gets slapped in it. It's real sad. What? But, yeah, in the music video she gets slapped. And Could, she's in a do domestic you, dispute. I don't. I don't watch music videos anymore unless people show them to me. I don't watch movies unless people show them to I me. I don't watch music videos unless Maddie from Dance Moms is in them. Because let's be real, that girl is fierce as hell. I don't oh, know. Oh, she's her. the girl in the Sia video? Yeah. I love music videos, though. I think I don't like a song as much until I see the music video. Like that song that I was obsessed with for like seven months, uh, Way Up, I Feel Blessed. Yeah. It's because the music video is dope. But you got to watch the extended version with Kanye West in it at the end. Oh, my God. Oh, geez. Watch that video. Are you worried at all, Will, that the next Kanye album isn't going to be great? I know it's going to be great. You know it's going to be great? I know yeah. it's going to be great. Because all day, swish, swish. Oh, God, Kanye killed it with that one. I just know it's going to be great. I did. I made a huge mistake by reading this, like, pitchfork think piece about how the next album's going to suck, and he's never had a bad album. Like, Yeezus was, like, not great, Yeezus but it wasn't was bad. not music. Ye Yeezus, no. I mean, it, it, it was like, him, like, working out his art. issues. It's his issues. Oh, I was listening to it today on, yeah. at lunch, walking to lunch by myself. I was playing, uh, it was probably, it wasn't New Slaves? Kid. It was New Slaves. Oh my God, it's just him yelling into a mic. And people like me love it. Mm -hmm. I love hearing him yell at it. It's like, it's basically, uh, like you ever, oh, like I think I've talked about this before on the podcast. Chris Rock stand up, he's my favorite stand up comedian ever. Mm -hmm. All he does is get up there and yell. It is not even jokes. It's but not, then I turn into a frog. He tells yelling. the truth, though. Yeah. He, tells he the truth. yells the truth. But this is Kanye's truth. Con that's exactly it's right. Kanye's it's truth. Kanye's truth. Chris Rock tells America's truth. America's truth. And, I, I, oh, man. That's still, the, I think, maybe the hardest I've ever laughed in my life. What? I don't know if you remember the hardest time you've ever laughed in your life. was the first time I saw Chris Rock bigger and blacker. That's what, yeah. I <laughs> fell off my couch. I had no idea anything could be that funny. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as it was done, I watched it again. Mm -hmm. I've seen bigger and blacker. I, I, an uncountable amount of times. I mean, bring favorite. the pains an incredible special, but bigger and blacker may be better. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <sighs> I don't know. I like them both. I like them both. I like all of it, but you got to hear Chris Rock's first album, Born Suspect. I love it. I've because never heard it. It's, it's 1991. One? 1991. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, the cover is him having hair like me. He's like wearing ripped jeans. It's like when he was like, he was in his 20s and he was When just, he was on SNL. Yeah, and he was just mad. And I just, I love it. It's just the best thing. Do you remember the hardest time you've ever laughed, Bree? Yeah, it was with my roommate, Ari, and my friend Chelsea. And we stayed up all night and we got so baked. Mm -hmm. So baked. And we were telling the dumbest jokes and we were... 
laugh. Okay, I'll tell you the joke, and it's not funny at all. Okay, I'm so excited. We are obsessed with the show called You're the Worst, which is a great show. I've heard only okay. good things. It's incredible. Yeah, but it's not on Netflix. It's not on Hulu. It's not anywhere, no, and I don't want to buy it. It's I don't want to buy it. I don't want to buy it. I get it. I bought it. So you can come over and watch it, because trust Super. me, Super. I'll would hang love out with it. Riggs, and I'll totally just mainline it's that thing. so well written. But anyway, we love that show. And so we got so baked, and... We started coming up with puns for TV shows, and we were like, you're the liverwurst. And we were doing like a Jewish mom, and it's not funny at all. You're you're giving me a, a pity laugh right now. <laughs> no, I'm laughing. But I was crying, almost shitting. This is the thing that my... made you almost shit yourself. <laughs> you're the liverwurst. It was, it was a combination of that and just eating menchies and yeah. being high. Oh, man, menchies is oh, the menchies greatest. I know the God hardest blame. I ever laughed, and I probably told this before, too, is uh, I was watching this video uh, it's, uh, it's long story short. I was watching this video of this woman talking about what a grapefruit. Oh, the job grapefruit is. job. Yeah, Lee was like, "Look up what a grapefruit job is." I was like, "All right," typed it in YouTube, and this is video. Have you seen it? Mm -mm. This, this grapefruit woman, technique. Oh my god. Maybe it, I have. What is it? It's she's like. Uh, we did this on that one nerd com com, and we're gonna do it again. Oh god, you don't need to see this. It's <laughs> no, just, you do. It's just I don't know why I found it so funny. I think it's because the woman in the video reminds me of people in my childhood. Like mm -hmm. I met this woman. 12,000 times, and then she starts talking about how to give a grapefruit job. Have you ever heard of a grapefruit job? No. Well, you're about to. You're about to. Okay. With that, is it gonna burn and all that other thing? So you don't want any of that. So this is what you do. Say, baby, you know oh, what? you stick tonight, it on somebody's I dick? Want to do something a little mm -hmm. freakier. I want to suck your dick but, blindfolded. Your man will blindfold himself if he knows he's gonna get some hold head. On, hold on. So now, the man is in the bed. You have the grapefruit already prepared under the bed. He smells the citrus She's in the air. so confident. He thinks you have on some new Victoria's Secrets or something. He has no Victoria's idea. Secrets or what something. Secrets. Now, you have to get his penis erect. So what you're going to do is just suck his dick. That's like you said you were going to do. Just like you said. <laughs> oh, my God. Is this real? This is yeah. real. He's nice and erect. What you're going to do is replace the grapefruit uh. from your mouth. You're going to twist up and down on his shaft and suck the head at the same time. I remember when that camera angle changed, I fell out of my chair. And what's funny about this is, is that what made, what made me laugh is I was How like, I'm pretty sure. Why are you sucking his dick? <laughs> at the time, no way. at That's the time real. I saw That's this real. video, yeah. At the time I saw this video, I had never like I I was I had never like touched a woman like that before in my life, and I was like, who makes that kind of sound? Like, so I was also like, I was also like, is that a thing I just don't know yet, or is it like, oh, no, that is that, that is, is not a thing. Not That's normal. Not, a not, thing. A thing. not no. normal. Not normal. No. Like, even yeah. just watch a little bit of porn and you'll know it's not yeah they don't even do I mean sometimes in porn they kind of go too far and, but like having bubbles and shit come out like alright calm down but just alright okay what kind of bubbles are you seeing well when out? you go to the deep yeah web. like like spit bubbles <laughs> like, or oh, something God. that's there's no way she is serious. She's serious. she's serious. I don't buy it. Everything no. is fake to me. Though. No, Agreed. so what, if the, if she's serious, this means that no man has ever complained. No man has ever been like, calm down on the raptor shit, like or calm, or just no man's shit. ever been honest. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. If, Listen, Have would you? you be honest yeah, with her? Okay, yeah, let's say you? she was the most beautiful, most amazing, most... You, so, you my love. girlfriend, who your, I love. Your girlfriend. Yeah, so and say she, your girlfriend did that. And she said, I want to try something new on you, Lieberman. She calls you Lieberman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. I'm trying to try some new shit on you, Lieberman. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And she does that. She sexy. Goes, That's a sexy way to address Oh, my you. God. I love you, Haynes. <laughs> oh. I'm the only person in this office, I think, who's referred to exclusively by their last name. Yeah. I mean, Bowman, used to, when he used to work at his yeah, name. People just Bowman. don't like to name Matt Matt because everyone knows a Matt that they don't like. Mm. Oh, I thought it was because you and him have the same first name as well as uh, other as Matt. Well, he didn't work here when I worked here. But we knew him. We knew him. Okay. We all saw all him right. a lot. Yeah. If if someone did that to me, if my girlfriend did a grapefruit job to me, I'm... I don't know, man. What if it? What if it just felt really, really good? And the sound. Maybe those sound waves, like they echo off your dick, and then maybe isn't a banana peel supposed to feel really good to jerk off with? Really? That's what I've heard. I've heard no. that you put it in the microwave for like ten seconds, and then you let it that cool down. That seems like too long. Just... That sounds like the Krispy Kreme donut <laughs> technique. Yeah, just or like a, a like a seconds. honeydew or a cantaloupe. I like, don't know why people keep trying to. All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> sex is pretty much the best thing. One of the best things that you can do. Stop trying to make it better. Be satisfied. That's it. Well, you don't got to add food. 
You don't have to add mechanics. I mean, you you don't you have could. to, but yeah. it certainly to. can can enhance. I'm sure it can enhance. Yeah, if you're having sex like, with the same person for let's say 40, 50 years, at some point you want to change things up. Add a strawberry. Add, add a, a strap on, girl. Yeah. Listen, I don't I don't know yeah, about freaky. you, but like I mean, have you maybe you haven't yet, but have you ever taken ice cubes? Have you ever done a, a do the I've right thing? I've heard about that, but isn't that uh that would make things worse, wouldn't you? No. Okay, I heard on, my friend... on nipples. Oh, no. No, I hot mean... and cold. A little play with a little hot and cold. A friend of mine told me that he was he later turned out to be gay, uh but he said he he was getting a blowjob from a girl. And he was like, "Oh, he said he wasn't feeling it. It turned it was because he's gay." It's now, because he's, now I know. It's because he's gay. I, this just now went in my brain now. He later found out he was gay but uh, uh uh he said that she was blowing him she was like and he told her to put ice cubes in her mouth and he was like it was better i'm like that would just fuck up my whole day oh my god that would just fuck up my whole year all right so okay. <laughs> one of my favorite tv shows is this show justified that uh -huh. just ended this year and one of the characters on the show is a prostitute and her special trick is she puts pop rocks in her mouth before no. giving someone a blowjob, that is like putting your dick into a fireworks okay. display. No. Only way that only, sounds awful. Only way that's no. gonna work is you take my put put a, a small get a small piece of tape and put it over my pee pee hole because I don't <laughs> want that going down. <laughs> and that's the only way that's gonna work. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, God. we're all out of tape. Will you accept a band aid? Yes. Okay. Ew, I don't want to suck on a band-aid. But not with any of the used It's not a used band-aid. It's a, a band -aid. clean, sterile Wait, band-aid. I know, I don't want to suck on a band-aid dick. <laughs> what about a tape dick? Is a tape dick okay? No. Didn't you Better than a band-aid dick? Didn't you what once call having sex with someone wearing a condom getting fucked by a hard sandwich? Did I say a that? I think you thing? said that in a video. Kids use a condom at all times. Don't use be an idiot. Use a condom at all times. I just had a friend who messed up real bad. I have like some weird recollection of you calling it getting fucked by a sandwich. I he feel like okay I, that though. is something I would have said. I he was know. just really weird and it was real funny. Uh, we talk a lot about sex stuff. I know. Let's talk about something else. Let's so yeah, I just read a book it. last night. You just did? Kidding, hell no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't reading no fucking book. What I look like a nerd? No. Can we talk about something? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about book, books for a All second. Right. Okay. This is important to me. <laughs> I go to the library. Why would you ever buy a book when you can go to the library? Because I'm not trying copy. to give shit back. I'm not trying to go through the hassle of talking to this person again. Unless you're going to buy a book, a used book on Amazon for a couple dollars. Why would you ever go to a Barnes and Noble and buy a book? I, I don't. It's so overpriced. I like having things. I mean, well, I don't, but like, I I do like having books. So like I like owning them. Why? Uh, they they just they're nice. They just I don't know. Books feel nice to me. Hardback books feel better. I don't like paperback books, even though I have a lot of paperback books. But hardback books feel way better. Do you read? Uh, not as much as I used to, but I you know. I think that's everyone's answer is not as much as they used to. So books are for show, basically. Um, a lot of them. I do have a book for show. I I bought it and I once I brought it home, I was like, ooh, this is too much for me. This is gonna be for show. I didn't so realize then buy how much some it used books on Amazon, put uh, them in your shelf for show, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, buy some ones that you like, though. I have The book that I have for show is Dalai Lama uh, Science Something Something. I thought it was going to be like his other books where he talks about, you know, uh, emotional things. But yeah. like, once he started talking about atoms, I was like, you lost me. So now that book is for show. Um, okay. Have you ever heard that John Waters quote, his like famous quote? He's like, uh, Throw that ass in the air. <laughs> no, it's uh, if you go over to someone's apartment for the first time, you look around and they don't have any books. Don't fuck them. Don't fuck. Em. That's that's what he's. I said. love that man. That's he's a fantastic. I would eat kid. dog shit dude. for that man. You would eat dog uh, shit. I would pull a divine straight up. You would eat dog shit. I would eat dog shit if he for a movie or just books. if he needed you to. If he needed me to, if as a friend. As a friend. If they don't have books, then they're just not worth your time. They're not worth your time. See, look here. I understand the whole thing about you know reading makes you smarter and whatnot. But that was back then. Now is different. I, don't, I, disag I honestly I disagree. disagree. I mean, you, I, I don't know. I mean, back then, books were the only way to access knowledge. True. The only way you can know things is if you went into an encyclopedia and read it. Now you can learn things. You want to know something about something? You don't have to read a whole book about it. You go look it up, and then you, that expands your interest. Reading books. Sorry, motherfuckers, who think I'm smart because of this bookshelf. That's not gonna make you smart. Actually, knowing things. Actually. 
learning things is going to make you smart. You right, but right, you know, you know. everyone learns differently. Mm -hmm. I don't know. For some reason, I feel like I retain more of what I read in an actual book than what I read electronically. Definitely. Uh, I don't know, and I know that a lot of people are visual learners. Like what I was just saying about like I like a song more once I've seen it and get yeah. a visual for it. Some people don't have. I was just talking to a friend about it. Uh, when I read books like a a, a, a narrative, I give I assign the characters to like uh, actors or my friends who I want to play the character. Mm -hmm. uh, but people who can't do that. Um, may not enjoy the book as much. So we're going to shame them and say, y'all are fucking idiots because you can't read, you don't read, you're dumb, you're stupid. You don't have to read books. What kind yes, of learner? So no. you're a visual learner. I'm a visual learner. What kind of learner are you, Brie? Visual. You're a visual learner? But I'm a big reader. Okay. I create it. I create it in my head. I create the visuals for myself. I'm an experiential learner. Oh, I you got to do it. I have to do it, and then I know whether or not it's a good thing, how I feel about it, what it's like, and then I can tell people That's about it. That's when Lieberman joined the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and, and wizardry. Wizardry. wizardry in <laughs> real life. I, need to, I needed to know As if, a 27 -year -old it, was, if man. it was good or not, if it was <laughs> worth course. learning spells or not. But he also wanted to know what it felt like to kill Vol uh, Dumbledore, so he himself would... Oh, I'm sorry. Spoiler. I, I waited for I mean, my that's letter. like the 10th book. Uh, Not true. I never got into What's the Hogwarts? rule? You never got into Harry Potter? No, I never got into Hogwarts. Oh. <laughs> I waited. Yeah. I used to. Oh, boy. My family's obsessed with Harry Potter. Every single time. Not exaggerating. Every time I go home, uh, it's Harry Potter weekend on ABC Family. My mom and my dad, and they all watch it. That's cute. I don't know. They just, we've always loved Harry Potter since it came out. I don't know it's, why. That's because it's it's fun. And that's it's when I fell in love with Emma Watson. Fam. I've been in love with Emma Watson since the first Harry Potter book. People didn't like her because she's like, you know, yeah, you, 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 well, your glasses not, are broken. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. I love girls like that. I, mm. lo I want a girl that will make fun of me every single day. Isn't it true? Yeah. Just don't you love it when girls give you shit? Yes. It's addictive. It's addictive. Mm -hmm. I love it. I don't know. Maybe, is that sex? somehow I don't know one no. of the girls I fell most madly in love with in college treated me like garbage mm -hmm. and I worshipped her mm -hmm. I worshipped her I would like I would blow off classes for her. Mm -hmm. I would do anything. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we just, is, do we have mommy issues or something like totally. that? Totally. We got mommy issues. And I like Jews, it's like it's supposed to happen. Mm. I don't know why you have mommy issues. I don't, because I wish I was Jewish. If I could be anything, I'd mm -hmm. straight up be Jewish. Pete Pete Holmes, like we always say, you can, Will. You can, you can, you can always convert, man. I just want to be Jewish. Ethiopian man. Jews, we had a couple in my, in my, in my synagogue growing up. Wow, man. But yeah, I don't know. Mean girls are cool. Like, uh... Mm. It's a, it's also a thing in anime. In anime, like anime characters, also always have an archetype. There are like twenty different types of anime characters, and, and that's every anime it. picks one of them. Like this character yeah. is this type of person, and they're the mean girls. I just love them. Well, they're sitcoms so do that too. Have you ever read the Eight Characters of Comedy? Oh no, what are they? it's a it's a great book. It breaks down how every single sitcom draws from eight character archetypes, yeah. and that's it. And wow. if you want to write your own to fill out your cast, every single one of your characters should in some way relate to one of these archetypes. You know what's killing me? What? That sitcoms are dying. Yeah. I love every sitcom. I don't care if it's bad. I don't care if it's good. Like, How I Met Your Mother is an amazing sitcom. But I also like things like Melissa and Joey. Have you ever seen that? No. Oh, my God. My friend I love works it. on it. Yeah. I love Melissa and Joey. Why? It is amazing. I don't know. Because Melissa Joan Hart is fantastic. Because I, I loved her in Sabrina, the Teenage Witch. Oh, that is one of my favorite girl. things ever. But uh, I, I just, there's something about sitcoms that you can sit there and turn your brain off and just, and yeah. just watch it. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to be worried about, is he going to get shot? Is he going to die? It's never But you're not like laughing. Um, I'm low-key laughing. Roseanne made me laugh. Oh, Roseanne. Married mm -hmm. with Children, it made me laugh. Seinfeld made Married. me laugh. Married with Children. Uh, Seinfeld it didn't make you laugh. I never liked You never laughed at Seinfeld? Never, ever. Not in the no, first three seasons? I don't think it's... Do you just not? It's not my thing. You don't like selfish people. They're just... They're, they're all it's terrible all, selfish people. It's literally people. just about people whining. Yeah. Yeah. With, good, with good jokes. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, did you do you do you like? Uh, have you ever seen uh, a curve your enthusiasm? I curb. love curb your enthusiasm. What did I say? Curve. I said curve. Huh? Yeah, it's curb your enthusiasm. I loved curb your enthusiasm. Yeah. It's like Seinfeld, but dirty. It's dirty Seinfeld. I know. But... Just correct me again, Lieberman. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> I forgot I had to go off on you for that. Uh, but it's yeah. different, though. It's it's, it's dirty different. Seinfeld. It's not a sitcom. Larry David is a comedic genius. When he dies, I'm gonna be real sad. Larry mm. David's amazing. Yeah. yeah, I want to meet him. What's your favorite sitcom of all time? Probably Roseanne. Probably Roseanne. Roseanne yeah, is in my top five. Oh, so good. Uh, you know which? You know what I do? I don't like now that I used to love. I'm gonna get shit for this. Friends. 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 Does not hold up at all to me. 
I don't get why people are so obsessed with yeah. it. Yeah. It's fine. I don't get it either. I mean, I haven't watched it really. I might have watched one episode yeah. kind of, but maybe I need I'll watch it. The I'll early it. seasons, I get why it was so revolutionary at the time. Why? Yeah. Because there were no shows where 20 somethings were just hanging out doing mm. nothing. They that started the trend. It was all families and workplaces and this was the first time that young people got to see some a group of hip, mm-hmm. good-looking people, hip, good-looking people, have tons of sex and whine about it, mm-hmm. just like You're life. Right. Yeah, I mean, unless your life's not like that. Uh, but I want to say, I think I just realized Sorry, right and now, and or whine about it. My favorite '90s sitcom, which mm-hmm. is when sitcoms were like booming, is Frasier. Frasier. I didn't realize it's always Frasier. It's been like, okay, do I like hire my mother or Frasier or Scrubs? It's Frasier. It's Frasier. It's the reason why it won Best Comedy, I think, six times, five or six times at it's the Emmys. It's genius. Harvard writers, they just knew what they were doing. But the, the thing about uh, Frasier and really any sitcom is the first five minutes, you know what's going to happen in the episode. Like, mm-hmm. it's just that's how sitcoms are. But still amazing. Yeah. Third Rock from the Sun. Third Rock. I Interesting liked show. That. I liked that when I was a kid. I don't remember it at all. But. See, I didn't really watch anything when I was growing up because my, my folks, we were only allowed to watch Nickelodeon and PBS. And then, like, maybe when I was, like, 10 years old, we were allowed to start watching Cartoon Network. Oh, my God. And everything else was banned. So by the Same. time I started watching, like, anything, like, live action that wasn't on cable, I was, like, 15, 16, and I didn't develop a taste for sitcoms for a few years. Uh, wow. I remember when I was a kid, I my parents my parents did not monitor myself and my sister at all. Mm-hmm. Not even a little bit. Not saying that they didn't love me, but, like, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they just knew that I we were smart enough to know don't shake ass and don't uh, don't sell drugs. Uh, but uh, uh, my sister used to watch BET, and I was like, "Stop watching this crap!" Because we were like, I was like eight, and I was like, "This is way too much." Like Chris Brown's out there, you know, doing whatever kind of pre Rihanna beating Chris Brown stuff he oh was doing, <laughs> and jerking off that. his chest dick because that's <laughs> what it looks like you're doing, and throwing, throwing it into the dice. Crowd. Yeah. Throwing dice, jerking off your chest stick and throwing dice. Jerking and, off my chest stick in one hand, throwing dice You know dice what we gotta other. realize? Hey girl. And we're adults and what we don't realize is we, we're constantly subjected to all these things. We're like, oh, that's a music video and they're like titties in it or whatever and it's like real graphic but we don't really realize that kids are watching this too. Oh yeah. Kids, kids are, are watching us. You know that music video? Kids watch everything. They are watching us. Stop! Stop! But you know what? Why just, though? I always You're say, saying that now after okay. we talked about the grapefruit. Technique. I know. I, I always said my dream is like, you know, I've always wanted to make a stand up comedy album. Yeah. When I was a kid, <laughs> I used to put on uh, Chris Rock and George Lopez, and I would put it on real low because it was some real dirty shit, and I didn't want my parents to find out. And Phil, I used to put on Phil really low because my parents didn't put it on. My dream is someday some little 14 year old kid. Uh, puts all my stuff and puts it on real low just so yeah. his parents doesn't hear. I what don't if know. What if I were to tell you that there are kids right now who do that with people be like? That's interesting. That's interesting How to does think. that make you feel? Interesting. I like it. I dig it. Yeah. yeah. I think we don't give kids and teens enough credit. I really don't. Well, I they think... didn't give us enough credit when we were that age. No, not... and that's why I don't yeah. think we do. I think I think people, young people can handle a lot. You guys are doing a great job. You guys are, these teenagers from today are on their way to not bomb any other countries. They do not care about anything other than what's going on in here, unlike the generation before that went to college. When he said in here, if you're listening, he he tapped his phone. I'm tapping my phone, I'm looking at my phone. Kids are so into this that none of them are going to try to figure out how to build a bomb because they don't care and like... Well, except for Dylan Roth. I meant like nuclear bombs. I meant like those kind of like, the real, the kinds you got to really like have government resources to figure out. Yeah. <laughs> that they couldn't make anyway? No, I don't know. I don't think anybody can make a nuclear bomb. I think that they can. There's one man in you the whole plutonium. world. Yeah, you need plutonium. Realistically, how many men in the world, Doc I mean, Brown. Or women, men and women, how many people can actually make a nuclear bomb? I Doc would s- Brown. Doc, Doc Brown. Brown could do it. I would say in the entire world, in the, in entire, the entire world, world probably like, Eight people. Um, probably there's, more than that, huh? I think there's like maybe two we dozen, we two know. and a half dozen countries. Like I think it's like two dozen countries, maybe a little less, that have nuclear weapons. So I'm gonna say that about 110, 120 people no. in the world know something about how to make a do nuclear bomb. Do you feel? Do you think they feel like a badass? I, I don't would. know. Anytime, I think they're scared. I think anytime, they feel scared. Like, yeah. Anytime like I was out in the public and somebody like stepped on my shoe, I'd be like, well, you know, I could turn this around in about 16 years. Because <laughs> that's probably how long it takes to build some shit like that. Have you seen that show Manhattan? 
No. It's all about making the first nuclear bomb. Oh, cool. And it's like it's on some network that nobody watches. I don't even remember. Uh, WGN America or something. I just remembered. Or I, Ion. Ion. When I was in the fifth grade, I wrote an essay about the guy who dropped the nuclear bomb on Japan. Mm -hmm. And I remember him saying, I'd do it again. And I was like, oh, wow, interesting. What kind of crazy yeah. motherfucker? Because <laughs> that's something I feel like Americans forget. We're the only country in history to use a nuclear weapon. A nucle that burned people's clothing to their skin. How are we yeah. so Miles tight away. with Japan now? I always think about that. Because we took all their guns away. They don't have a, a military anymore because after that we said, y'all can't fight. You know, you tried to side with the Germans and whatnot. It's... We're, but they don't mind. We're friends with them because of trade and because they make all the best stuff. In Japan, like I we think have like, to be like two people they get hate killed us. by guns. I'm sure they year. hate us. Uh, no, they according to Reina, like Japan is super into Western uh, like stuff. Western culture. Yeah, but I'm talking about just not our culture, America, America. the symbol. America, and we got nothing good going on here. I mean, what what? Shh. We got sitcoms. We're the number one country for sitcoms. Except and that's now, now they're dying. But then again, they were dying back in 2004. They were dying like 10 years ago, they were. and they were being replaced Hi, by your mother. crime dramas and uh, crime Jimmy dramas Love. and reality it's shows. It's single camera shows. That <coughs> getting bobby. What's going on? Will, you need, you need you a little okay? water, pal? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Baby. Okay. Little baby Will. No. He's all right. Yeah. Yeah. How I Met Your Mother came out the next mm. year, and then the tide started to turn. Not just... necessarily because of that show, but that show for me got me interested in multi camera sitcoms for the mm -hmm. first time, really. Really? That I've was always loved it. A great show. I My entire childhood was me staying up and watching Nick at Night. I watched a lot of Nick at yeah, Night. Yeah. I Dream of Jeannie. I Dream of Jeannie was my favorite. Mm -hmm. Oh, my yeah. God. I Excellent. Yeah. Sexist as fuck. But really fun. You know all what? of them were. It really okay. was. They this all is were. just now making sense to me. Yeah. All right. So it's a guy. Mm -hmm. He's an astronaut. Single guy. Single astronaut. Super good looking. Probably rich as hell. Mm -hmm. Super nice house. Looks like a five bedroom house. He's got a friend, and that friend is the only person that knows he has a genie in his house. A sex genie. A, a sex, sex genie. genie. Oh my god! In 1962, that belly button opening. She was the hottest thing ever in the world. Mm -hmm. What an amazing life. Yeah. <laughs> Most dudes go home and rub their dick, not their fucking <laughs> Let's sexual. All right, let's 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 get out of like, get out of the sex spiral. Let's talk about, like, the best old shows. The best old Twilight shows? Twilight Zone. Twilight Zone's so an incredible good. show. I loved it a lot. Incredible show. I think, was it Steve that hasn't seen it? No, oh, Steve's, Steve's definitely seen it. Seen it was Darren it. that hasn't seen it, though. I, I, it bothers me. So good. It was a good show. Yeah. That was one of, like, the dumbest good purchases I've ever made in my life is I bought the whole Twilight Zone box set in oh, college. Oh, I, I got that too. It was too. like 160 bucks. It was like a crazy amount of money for me. To, I had no money. I, I barely had a job. Um, but that show is incredible. So good. Yeah. yeah. Now you could have just downloaded it illegally. What's no, your favorite? No, I could just watch it on Netflix. Or Netflix, yeah, yeah. Netflix, except they don't have all of it. What was your favorite episode? Do you have a specific Twilight Zone episode? It's the one with the pig face people. Pig face people. Ooh, I like the eye of the beholder. I think the mm -hmm. dummy one scared me a lot. The guy who like has a, a a dummy and he does shows and then the dummy's like, yeah, I'm alive, motherfucker. And then, yeah. <laughs> that one and Talking Tina are very I don't similar. Know, Talking where Tina. it's like the talk. The, gr the, gr the little doll and the dad wants to get rid of the doll and she's like, my name's Talking Tina and I don't like you very much. Mm -hmm. and so he tries to get rid of the doll and she just keeps appearing on the kids' beds. Oh. And the doll kills the dad. Yeah. She, he should have just held it. He should have just held the doll forever. And then like they'd be like, hey, you're a grown man. Why are you in a meeting with the doll? She put him in a vice. Mm -hmm. A vice? What yeah, a vice? like a vice. Like It's like a tight metal gripping machine. Oh, no. Or it. device. Sounds horrible. It's awful. It's, I don't think I want that. Yeah, you've never heard of the, the phrase, put your balls in a vice? Mm -mm. Oh, it means taking them pants. and really p putting a squeeze on them. Huh? Something made of metal. Oh, wait, I no. She, he put her in a vice. And that's how she tried was able to... to... She tri he tried to kill her by putting her in a vice. Mm -hmm. And then she pushed him down the stairs. Yeah. That's what happened. Pretty much. I just remember that one show from the 90s, uh, Slime Time Live. Did you guys ever watch yeah, that? Yeah, remember that? Every day on yeah. Nickelodeon. Okay, wasn't Maud on that? No. Maud did something with Nickelodeon. Well, she no, was a host for Nickelodeon in, in Australia. Australia. That's crazy. That's Maud got that sl has been slimed. Has yeah. She? yeah. Yeah, she said it tastes she told... really good. She said it's applesauce. That's what I heard. I heard it tastes good, too. Yeah. Yeah. I, my dream has always been to host the Kids' Choice Awards, but now I don't think I could do that. No, you know what? I was going to say. I'm That's too, your dream? <laughs> I'm, saying I'm too graphic for that, but now that I think about it, if Jack Black could do it, 
Sure, I can. Yeah, you just have to clean up, clean up your act. Yeah, dude. and smile and stuff. I mean, well, I do smile, but like, yeah, people think I smile less than I actually do. I'm, I'm not like Kanye level and not smiling. I just, you know, mm -hmm. I'm not big on it. My <laughs> favorite pictures of Kanye are where someone catches him actually mm -hmm. smiling. Yeah, and then yeah. He, mm -hmm. it's part of his character. That's why I, 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 uh, I love so much about him. He's an artist. He created an artistic character that he puts out into the world. Like a lot of people don't realize, like Louis C.K. is an artistic character. Um, but you know, you like that when you just don't like Kanye. That's why you hate him. But you just got to realize it's just a character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most people are, or most people in entertainment. Most people in entertainment. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the thing about YouTube is like it's all about authenticity, and I feel like you can pick out the people who really are being themselves. But even those people, their videos are still edited. Mm -hmm. Like the, on some level, there is something about every single one of us that we don't want to share. Yeah, and that's. Yeah. Okay. And why can't I keep that to myself? And well, you can. I, you can I mean, and no, you no, no. Should. Why do people pry on it? I mean, oh, no yeah. one really pries anything on me because, like, well, who cares? But, like, there are people that they don't let pry. That they, There are people that they pry into their lives. Yeah. And they end up, like, ruining that character that they love so much because they want to just appreciate the character. Yeah. You don't, I agree. Only don't request for more. Just, like, allow it to... Like be natural. Yeah, like I don't know, like celebrity divorces. People get so crazy that about kind of stuff. Yeah. Like the the Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner divorce. Like that's an that's awful. But I mean, if if they need to get a divorce, they should get a divorce, and it's none of our business. Mm -hmm. None. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can ask like, what's your sister like? Don't ask like, well, so what's going on in the divorce right now? Like that's just too much. Mm -hmm. Just some things need to be. I'm just picturing stuff. Will going looking up. What does Ben Affleck's brother look like? Uh, I would <laughs> love to know. I'm dying. To to know. Mm. I don't Does know. he have siblings? Well, it's Casey Affleck, and you can see what he looks like in a variety Does of films. Does he have a sister? I'm not big on Ben Affleck. I don't get it. Like, I don't know. I'm, I guess I've never seen a movie with him in it before. Never? No. Ever. Now that I think about it, no. That doesn't... That, like, what movie I feel like I he seen? was in every movie He's been ten in years so ago. Much. What could I have seen? Uh, Daredevil? No. Nope. Paycheck? No. Nope. Reindeer Games? No. Nope. Argo? No. Nope. The Town? No. Nope. Uh... Hollywood Land. Nope. Um, the Big Amy? Bounce. Chasing Amy. Nope, nope. Uh, Mall Rats. Nope, heard of it. Nope. Dazed and Confused. Nope. Uh, oh, my God, Oh, my God, God you haven't Will. seen Dazed and Confused? Nope. It's a great movie. Um, How about that J-Lo? What's that? Oh, Geely. Uh, no, yeah, Geely, but also... Jersey Girl? Jersey Girl. No, definitely Jay and Silent that. Bob Strike Back. Yeah. Uh -uh. What about any, sorry, any I, Kevin Smith? Dog. I'm so sorry, no. Goodwill Hunting. No. I can't you believe it took Goodwill us like hunting? 15 no. movies to get to Goodwill Hunting, but that's, that's the, the there. One. That's like the one, right? Pearl yeah. Harbor. Yeah. Pearl Harbor? Yeah. He was the lead in Pearl Harbor. Yep, I have seen that one. Forgot about it, though. There you go. It was there when I was go. in eighth grade. <laughs> I, I think I've told this story about I had this teacher who was going through a divorce. I had a history teacher that was going through divorce, so he kept showing us history movies. Forrest Gump, watched that so many times. Pearl Harbor, he, it was so sad to see that. He was such a cool teacher. Then he got a divorce, and he was just like... <sighs> it was... Aww. That's so funny, yet so sad to me. Yeah. yeah. I can't believe a teacher could get away with showing the yeah. same movie twice. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was Forrest Gump was the one that he showed up multiple times. Or it, maybe it just felt like that because, no, it was multiple times, yeah. And Well, it would take, like, multiple days to get through Forrest mm -hmm. Gump. It's like a three-hour movie. Yeah. My Spanish teacher maybe showed us, made us watch SpongeBob in Spanish. And that, I mean, if SpongeBob isn't already insane and annoying, mm -hmm. like, imagine watching the episodes that you grew up and loved, like SpongeBob, and mm -hmm. then watching them in Spanish and the same episodes over and over that's interesting that she had you watch hmm. SpongeBob in Spanish. It I was would, a he. Uh, 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 I don't know. I was thinking my Spanish teacher, Miss Mayello. She spoke Spanish. I had another teacher, but I think he got uh, deported. But uh, oh, yeah. I, I was really sad about that at the time too. But yeah, um, that's what had happened with my teacher. I miss him. Yeah. Do you remember your best teacher that you ever had? Ooh. Yeah. Mr. Bader, Mr. Which apparently oh, yeah, someone Mr. who Bader. watches SourceFed is also he is their teacher now. So if really? you're watching this, I'm glad Mr. Bader is your teacher. Yeah, I, I think I talked about Mr. Bader before. His name is Mr. Bader. Sounds like Master Bader. It's real funny. It's really but funny. Mr. Bader uh, uh, was a Jewish man. What did he teach? Got me into comedy. English. English. Yeah, he what got grade? me uh, ninth grade. But I think he does more than that now. Mm -hmm. And I, he, I would just go into his classroom every day after school, every single day, and I ask him questions about life, and he would say the funniest things to me. And I was like, I love comedy. And I go home and make videos. And Mr. Bader like changed my life, so I thank him for that. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, for me, um, I had a, a theater teacher named Miss Lawrence, and I had a, a, a film teacher in high school named Mr. Gavrilovich, 
uh, who you made that up? No, I'm Gavrilovich. Gavrilovich. It sounded like you wow. stuttered. Uh, no, I, Mr. well, because we always called him Mr. G because we didn't know how to pronounce it at the yeah. time. But is Gavrilovich, and he encouraged. They both encouraged me to start writing. Mm. She encouraged me to write plays. He encouraged me to write and and make short films. And um, I wrote my first like feature length screenplay in high school, my senior year of high school. And uh, it was like seeing that I could do it pushed me to really try. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah. It was a big deal for me. What about you? I had, a, I had a film teacher in 10th grade before I went to Idlewild, which was like all art focused. Mm -hmm. So all my teachers were amazing because I was doing what I love to do. But Mr. Robertson, 10th grade film teacher, he, I mean, he loved his job so much. And the shit that he had to put up with at the school that I was going to, they put a million dollars into the football field. Wow. And all of our cameras were broken. The city I came from didn't have a million dollars if you took everybody out their pocket. <laughs> well, it's like, if you that. have that kind of money, if a school has that kind of money, it was a public school. I don't even know how they got the money to make that happen. Mm -hmm. Every other department, shit. Probably donations from former football players. Well, Probably. I don't yeah. actually. I don't even know why they would do that. Because do they make any money from football games? Well, if boosters. Like it just kind of it raises the profile of the school. Yeah. Um. You know, having famous football graduates mm -hmm. raises the profile of the school. So I can't be mad at them for that. At the time when I was in high school, I would have been upset about that. But like, if the school is trying to stay alive and they're desperate, it's not because the school are like we like football players. It's like if we want to stay on the map. This is the way to do it. Sadly, tap dancing, putting a tap dance studio in the school isn't going to get the school any more money and be able to help more kids. That's what you got to do. It like, will help more kids. It will help kids. Not but enough. Not enough. Not enough. If you want to help uh, more kids, that's what they're focused on. They're focused on numbers. Sadly, yeah. you become a number. See, here's the yeah. thing. I wish that you could, we, that someone would explain to us, like, when we're that age, how and why a school does what it does mm -hmm. and not just tell us. And it's that not. We can't not see. just tell us that this this is happening. Yeah, that's what they do. And that's it, what Mr. Robertson did. He told us and he explained why. And he could have been really pissed off about it because he tried so hard to get people interested in film. And it was one of those classes that everybody kind of had to take because it was either that or theater as an elective. Wait, you could only take film or theater as electives? Those were the only There electives? were a couple other options, that's but they were terrible of, options. That's kind of amazing. That a school that would force you to take theater Meanwhile, or film. Meanwhile, everything's falling apart, though. Right. And people are just goofing off and you know, not taking it seriously. And my, he wanted people to take it seriously. Yeah. I just realized what from school I use the most. Uh, I my elective was uh uh like uh not media but like uh. Uh, what is it called? Just like computer things, but computer programs. Mm -hmm. And I had a Photoshop class in in one of my classes, and I use Photoshop every yeah, day. Yeah, you do. Like Saturday through Sunday, and I'm so thank you, Mr. Good. His name was Mr. Good. Yeah. He taught me how to use that. Uh, yeah, that's. I don't use that algebra. I have used math so little, thanks to my good little buddy right here. Those at home, I'm holding a cell phone which has a calculator app on it. Right when you open it, I've used Photoshop more than I've used anything. Are you I've ever terrified school. that the next generation will not be able to? do anything oh, I'm sorry y'all gonna be real dumb y'all gonna be real dumb I'm not even you guys but two after you guys is gonna be real dumb I'm yeah. worried that kids won't know how to write okay. they won't have to they won't have the, to they just have to talk into the phone and the phone will do the writing I got a nerd issue that freaks me out Steve mm -hmm. has been playing uh, Arkham Knight and I, I love it and I think it's great just watching him play it but what I've noticed is that Batman they made Batman dumber Batman, remember back when we were kids, Batman would be like, He's a detective. He'd get to the crime and he'd be like, mm, this smells like something that's on a tree in the middle of the Caribbean. And he would know that. The new Batman goes, hmm, let me put this into my computer chip and find out what it is. Batman doesn't know anything anymore. He just has technology. And that's it's, it's the same thing that's happening to us as people is we're not knowing anything, but it, uh, information is so easily accessible, we don't have to But know that's anything. the crazy thing. As <laughs> technology changes and we as ma makers of media continue to change change how we write to reflect the times that we live in, mm -hmm. fewer and fewer examples of people who rely entirely on their wits still exist. That's why mm -hmm. a show like Sherlock, I feel like is so fun to watch, mm -hmm. is because you're watching one person who is so smart mm -hmm. able to come up with all this yeah. stuff. See, Sherlock doesn't use, I mean, he has a cell phone, but he never uses his phone to figure things out. It's all in his brain. Yeah. We need to, uh, uh, we need to highlight characters like that more. I mean, yeah. uh, sadly, Batman is what people look up to, especially the young children, and we need to have him uh, be smarter. Let's get Batman back to being smart, not uh, have uh, resources accessible to him. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 
And people make fun of hipsters for embracing the old the old ways. The old ways. I the mean, old ways. they're doing the dumb thing though. Like, I mean, like there's some things we don't need. Like, what is it that hipsters do? Like, drink out of like those wine cups. That's just. Oh, you are you talking about mason jars? Oh, like uh, like uh, a I hipster. I love mason jars. They're so practical. Will They're have so one of practical. Those. Actually, I do like mason jars, but uh, they they have those phones that like you know. Oh, the rotary phones. Rotary phones. Just, I love beep, those beep, beep, too. Just get get a regular phone. That's that kind of stuff you don't need. Yeah, I I'm trying to. But if it's their art, it's okay. I want to purge. I'm trying to purge all my stuff, and I'm trying not to buy more stuff because stuff is the last thing I, I need. I did it. It's great. Yeah, it's hard though. If there's a fire in my house, I run out. Oh, I get my laptop. Then I run out. Uh, I say, catacomb, come here. And then I run out. Sorry to interrupt, but my dream is to live in an apartment that looks just like a hotel with Mm. nothing in it. Mm -hmm. I I like it. I love those European, like, micro apartments where everything folds away into the walls. Oh, those are so dope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the video where all the furniture folds up? Mm Mm-hmm. Everything folds up in Everything. something. Even fucking sinks. Yeah. The bed and the bathroom Even and the kitchen. Sink? I don't know. The bed I and the bathroom. Say, and why? The, the bed, the bathroom, and the kitchen are all in the same room. Yeah. It's just one room that has everything. That's cool. That's cool. It's That's really cool. cool. My dream is always to have a loft. I always want to have a loft, like just empty. Yeah. I don't even want a bedroom. Like I just I don't know. Like I uh, like if you like uh I've been like in the warehouse once we cleared it all out. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I was in there by myself for like a week, it was just it's such a creative space. I like I could like I know like It's a, so open. I'm a visual learner, but like in order to to create things, I have to visually I have to verbally say them and like since I had that space to move around and act things out, like I was able to, to make my videos way better that week, I think. Hmm. Better than ever before. Empty space is great. So, folks, if you want to tell us in the comments whether or not Will's videos this past <laughs> week were better than the w- videos he's ever that made. That Rick Ross one is my favorite video. That's my favorite white wall I've ever done. Go watch that When one. did you do a Rick Ross one? This week or last week, since when I was in the warehouse. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll have to check that out. I haven't watched yeah, it. Yeah. Rick Ross, uh, he... Oh. 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 I love Rick Ross. I'm sorry. He's in jail. He's, a, 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 he's violent, but... How are we doing on time? Okay, we we got we got to wrap up. We uh, gotta wrap it up, yeah. just like you kids. You yeah. should always wrap up uh, your uh, wrap up your dingle, even if it does feel like you're fuck getting fucked by a ladies sandwich. and gentlemen. Hopefully, you're an adult. You should know this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, gang, this is gonna be uh, it for our episode of the Source Fed Podcast. Hope that you I'm enjoyed it. Whether you are watching it on YouTube or listening on SoundCloud or iTunes, visit our iTunes page and. Uh, Subscribe and rate and review the show. We really appreciate it. It helps us get the sponsors that keep this show alive, and it just it really makes all of our jobs here a lot easier. And also, we appreciate your Will support. is trying to strangle me. <laughs> Some would argue that he is actually just keeping you on a leash, which is just as weird and bad. They told me to keep Bree on a tight leash. I don't think that anyone told you that. Thank you all for watching <laughs> or listening. We'll see you next Friday. Oh, my Goodbye. Hands hurt. Truthfully, okay. Would you have sex with me? an adventure together in Orlando. This is all true so far. Oh, wow.